a couple from Lashford who were lucky enough to secure an invite to the royal wedding have spoken of the unbelievable atmosphere throughout the day. Eve, 60, and Janice Williams, 59, were chosen to attend Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding on Saturday by the Warrington Disability Partnership where they work as volunteers. The couple, who got back from a holiday in Egypt at 3.45 a.m. on Saturday, left the house at 4.15 a.m. and, despite the short turnaround, their excitement kept them going, to say we were tired would be an understatement, said Dave. I drove down there and it was the adrenaline that kept us alert more than anything. We arrived at Windsor Castle for 7.25 a.m. and were then in the security queue for an hour and a quarter. It didn't feel that long though, because already, everyone was mixing with other people and it was so well organized. Inside the chapel, Dave and Janice were seated opposite the doors through which the royal party entered. The atmosphere inside was unbelievable, added Dave. There was a woman next to us on the phone to her husband, and she would say things like, Prince Charles is coming down the slope now. And 20 seconds later, there he was. So we knew who would be next to come past throughout the morning, and each time someone came round the corner, there was a huge roar of applause from the crowd. I've been to cup finals at Wembley and all sorts, but I've never been to anything like that before, and I don't think I ever will again. It was absolutely fantastic. Janice added, we were invited back to the chapel after the service where we could see the altar, which was brilliant. We were handed a map and allowed to do whatever we wanted because we were in the confines of the castle. Outside, the crowds were amazing. There were people hanging out windows and shouting different things, and some were wondering why we were being allowed through the barriers. It was so well organized and there was nothing they hadn't thought of. The couple were also delighted to have attended after being chosen by the Warrington Disability Partnership. Dave said, I must admit, I was relaxing on a sunbed a couple of days earlier stressing about whether we would make it. We were so relieved to have gone, the last thing I wanted was to be invited and not be able to make it. We were chosen out of a large group of volunteers, so to miss it would have led us and all those others down too.